What's up guys, recently I got my hands on a 23 inch HP all-in-one, and though I do like the form factor of the complete PC being built directly into the monitor, I'm not a fan of the overall performance. Luckily, the upgrade is a really easy and relatively cheap job to do. Okay, just a little pre-game prep work here. If you want to tear into your all-in-one and replace the hard drive with a new one, before you start upgrading this PC, if you don't have a second Windows PC to do this step, make sure you create a Windows USB installer first. Download the media creation tool from Microsoft. I'll put a link in the description below. Once that's done downloading, launch the media creation tool executable and follow the on-screen prompts to create a USB stick. During the process, just make sure you select USB instead of ISO file. And for this particular PC, we'll need the 64-bit version. You could also just back up your system installation by making a system image with Clonezilla. I've got a video on how to do that right here. And alternatively, if you want to make a USB stick that can install multiple operating systems from one stick, be sure to check out my video, The Ultimate USB Toolkit. The system was running a 750 gigabyte mechanical hard drive and has 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's running Windows 7 and my intentions are to upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive and put as much extra RAM in the system as cheaply as possible and upgrade the operating system to Windows 10. I imagine this PC would work just fine with just about any Linux OS as well and maybe that's something I'll explore later. To make this project happen, I picked up a 240 gigabyte solid state hard drive from Amazon, which should be plenty of room for what I would be using this very basic PC for. I also picked up a 2.5 inch adapter plate. I ran into some problems with the adapter plate, but I was able to keep it simple and make it work anyway. I'll go over exactly what I did with the adapter plate later on in this video. Spoiler alert, if you do what I did, you're also going to need a zip tie. As far as tools go, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a thin pry tool of some sort. I just used a PC dust cover blank plate and it got the job done very easily. To get started, there are two Phillips head screws holding the back cover on the all-in-one PC. Remove those screws, then use a thin prying device to gently pry the enclosure apart. Be careful and don't force anything it should separate pretty easily. Just go slow and gentle. This is where I found that my super ghetto DIY solution of a pry tool worked perfectly for this. With the back cover off, we can see that the hard drive sits in this tray and our RAM is housed under this plate. There are two Phillips head screws holding the plate that covers the RAM in place. And this is our RAM stick. It comes out pretty easily. And there is a second blank slot for more RAM just above this one. I have a handful of these HP Thin clients, and one of them had a 4GB stick that is compatible with this HP All-in-One. I currently don't have a use for this Thin client, so I'm scavenging its RAM. On a side note, I have a complete video on these HP Thin clients, and I bought these little systems for as cheap as 15 bucks on eBay. For anyone who's interested, that video is right here. But back to the job at hand. Upgrading the RAM was as easy as sliding it in and snapping it down into place. Then it was just a matter of replacing the cover plate, and it went back on just as easy as it came off. For the hard drive removal, there's one Phillips head screw holding its enclosure in place. Then it's just a matter of using this little handle to pull the enclosure out. As you can see here, this replacement solid state hard drive is considerably smaller than the mechanical hard drive that shipped with the unit. That's where usually an adapter plate comes in to fill that void. But this adapter plate that I ordered doesn't work with this enclosure. The mounting holes are center drilled and they need to be offset. So I figured no problem, I have another adapter plate that has the holes offset. 
but they're offset on the wrong side. Now I know what many of you are thinking. Just flip it around, you dingus. But I tried that, and when I did, it threw off the alignment on the side mounting screws. A mounting plate or an enclosure of some sort is pretty important on this PC. I don't feel comfortable just plugging it into the SATA ports and crossing my fingers. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of play, and it doesn't fit very tight. And I feel that over time, day-to-day -day use of bumps and vibrations will eventually work that hard drive loose. So here's what I did. I mounted the solid-state drive on the center drilled mounting plate and ran a thin zip tie through one of its bottom holes. I then plugged the hard drive into the SATA connector and finished by fishing the zip tie through the closest aligned hole in the backing plate as shown here. I snugged down the zip tie as tight as I could and the whole thing ended up being very secure. If in the future I need to pull out this hard drive, I will have to cut and replace this zip tie, but they're pretty cheap, so I'm not worried about it. Sometimes, you just gotta settle for what gets the job done. The only concern that I had when I did it this way was that this lip of the adapter plate might possibly interfere with the housing when I go to put everything back together. But it wasn't a concern. It didn't interfere with anything, and the back housing went right back on with no problems whatsoever. After putting it all together, it was time to install Windows 10 with the Windows USB installer that you created earlier. Plug that USB stick into your HP all-in-one and power on the computer. It should boot to a Windows 10 installer. And now just follow those on-screen prompts and install Windows. Once you see the Cortana circle, dare I say it, it's a good thing because you'll know that you did everything right. Alternatively, as I mentioned previously, this all-in-one would likely be a great candidate for a Linux installation. And if you've never tried Linux before, but would like to, you can check out my video, Linux for the Absolute Beginner. It's a pretty good place to get started with Linux. So that's it, and a pretty easy upgrade overall. Leave a comment below and let me know if you've upgraded your HP all-in-one, and let me know if you ran into any problems along the way. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video with a shout out to my patrons. If you would like to support this channel on Patreon and now Ko-Fi too, there will be links in the description below. Donations are appreciated, but never expected. Remember, the best way to support this channel is to like, comment, share, and subscribe. May your wallet always be heavy and your tech lit. Thanks for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.